guys um so uh yeah good morning it's in the morning this side it's not in the morning like early in the morning it's like um it's 11 it's almost 11 it's 10 54 yeah and we're supposed to check out in the next six minutes but i guess we're gonna have a delay checkout maybe around 12 because i still need to need to bath i still need to do my face all of that too yeah, but yeah so let me welcome you because this is a brand new vlog let me welcome you on a new vlog if you're new and if you're returning also a very warm welcome to you welcome back Michelin's gang uh please subscribe if you're new and please um do like this video and give it a huge thumbs up um i'm holding my camera like this simply because i i definitely want um let me actually get my mic so that you guys can hear me properly so yeah um uh, i wanted to yeah like just to get you in, in obviously welcome you on the new vlog uh Ubuche was just sending me a message now just because i dropped this vlog she was saying Guti, why you not talk to us why you never talk to us anymore we miss you we miss talking you talking to us and obviously you guys talk to me back on the comments i read those comments the comments that you write i read them it's just that i can't i can't reply to all of them because i don't have time but when i have time i will make a day where i'll reply to all of them one thing about me i'll reply even if it's one year later i will definitely reply but also i just realized that i've been watching how to get away with murder i guess i've been just spraying myself under it where well, you know when you just bury yourself under something just because you're trying to escape the anxiety of the process i'm trying to escape the anxiety of the process of meshless designs that they actually started, I think we started there's just um um a, 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 a strategist there's me who is the creative and the founder and there's um a, produ a production manager and um there's um there's somebody that's gonna handle admin there's just four people for now who are gonna who are just helping out with meshless designs who are absolutely coming with ideas and 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 other things actually there's two strategies it's just, that, it's just that the other one is very busy but i get to talk to them from time to time yeah but i'm not going to mention their names but we are working together and i'm so grateful for them because they are just people who believe in who believe in my vision and who are just supporting my vision because there's nothing that they're getting out of me it's just that they have faith in me you know and Autumn Fundi said this one time, they are called destiny helpers. So I, uh, I'd i say they are destiny helpers, you know, Uyabo. So they are assigned by God for me to help me. So, yeah. So I've just been bearing myself through how to get away, get away with matters so that I won't think too much about meshless designs. I'm praying about it a lot. My prayer life is elevated very much. I make time for prayer, even if I sleep at two. Even if I finish watching whatever the episodes are too, I will pray, pray, pray before I fall asleep and I wake up at four and I've been praying at four as a collective with other people that we planned to pray at four with. And I pray at four and I'll pray when I wake up because I'll go back to sleep after four and I'd wake up and I'll pray when I wake up and I'll pray randomly during the day. Just to talk to the Lord, you know, and I'll pray absolutely before I sleep or just when I thought I'm sleeping and then my thoughts, are, my thoughts are getting ahead of me. I'll just go to the lounge and just watch TV. And also, my brother has moved in with us. He lives with us because he works. So we live with him in that small space that we live in. So can you imagine also, there's just a lot going on. We are more, but um, not that I'm not in a good space. I'm in such a great space. I'm grateful to God that I'm able to, um, that I have a roof over my shoulder, that I still have food, that I'm, I'm still comfortable, very much comfortable. But, you know, we could use like a bigger space. But for now, for this moment, it, it's fine that we live like this. We are so, yeah, it's just been that that's been going on. And, yeah, please pray for me as well. I guess I need everyone's prayer for Meshless Designs to be a success. But more than anything else, I need your support, guys. I just need you guys to support me financially with buying. Not that you must give out money, but I want you to buy the product when it's out. I'm definitely going to do a pre-order. I wanted to drop the collection and have stock on hand 
but it's not going to be practical it's not going to be practical and possible because i don't have the million rands to just make um make um clothes and keep them and gonna be totally established there so it's going to be stuff on pre-order you're going to pay for something and then we make it for you and then it comes in the turnaround time we've discussed the turnaround time with the cmts it's going to be seven days so honestly that's not too long because you guys wait for three weeks for your zara orders yeah but you guys wait for two weeks three weeks for zara orders the maximum the maximum you could, you would wait is two weeks but it will, i'll make sure that it's seven days seven days if you're around there but i'll make sure that it's even less yeah but, but yeah i'm gonna need you guys to support me by buying i guess that's all i guess that's what i can talk to you about uh but the description that has been in my head uh for the past couple of ever since big sunday basically what oh, jesus was wounded for my life he was bruised for my transgression like i think it's um isaiah um 3 58 i don't know i'll just insert it that um honestly honestly all i have to do is believe because jesus went through so much for me we are both and if you don't believe guys like if you honestly don't believe I'd, I'd honestly think you should take your time and honestly read the word because some of some people honestly don't believe in the lord because they don't read the word they believe in god but they don't believe in jesus how is that possible because the scripture says in john nobody comes through the father without the son and i was talking to about this with you we had like a long conversation yesterday on a video call talking about how people don't want the son and it's not even that they don't want the son of jesus because of any other reasons they don't want jesus because people don't want righteousness they want things that are coming to them they don't want things that are going to the father and we like saying from my lips to my uh, to to your ears god but the truth is you are not here for yourself you are not here for your purpose you are here for god's purpose he will give you your purpose for you to live your life for him so honestly umusa nezinto it's great and all but go back to the drawing board go back to your creator go back to your master and ask him do you want this for me do you want this for me lord is this what you created me for because a lot of people are frustrated a lot of people are uh ah, i don't believe in god i've stopped believing i stopped going to church i've, st I've stopped uh faith because you wanted things that God never even wanted for you initially or from the first place. So I, I, I just want you guys to be reminded of the sacrifice that Unkulunkulu made by giving away his only son for us to come to him. For us to be made free. For us to be made whole. For us to get a new life. For us to be born again if i could say that and people abas on who are very religious abai phone salvation abai phone in this salvation isn't in this abai phone in this and they don't want salvation because they don't really know what is salvation and i'm here to simplify that for you Uti. salvation is not a agloni e jogos or tuale kandalako it's actually freedom and liberty it's actually you knowing that there's somebody that died for your sins and there's nothing that you have to do but all you need to do is repent repenting is telling god i am sorry and i wanna walk with you now from now onwards repenting is basically you are going on on the right direction what is you going to the right direction and turning going to the left you are going to the right direction and you came into a realization and you turn and you and you went to the direction where god led you because you made a decision of of you taking a walk with christ I'm making sense. I hope I'm making sense to you guys. So please, um, if you if you really really if you really don't believe in the Son, if you don't believe in Jesus, ask yourself why you don't believe in Jesus. That's first. Ask yourself why you don't believe in Jesus. That's first. If you say you believe in God, I want to tell you that don't lie to yourself and say, uh, "God, uh, I believe in God, but not Jesus," because He says it Himself in the Scripture. Unless you don't believe in the Word, and unless you don't believe in the context of Christianity, then. Then, then then I understand. And there's people who don't, and that's okay. But for you who believe in God when it, when it suits you, when it's good for you, when it's 
Isaiah or the scripture that you guys like, which I, the Lord, will make it happen when the time is right. No, the time becomes right when you've been prepared. And when you've been, when, and when you, when you are being prepared in the season of crushing, it's not easy. And the crushing season, and the crushing season is not the decisions that you make yourself for yourselves that, that are stupid and dumb, where you put yourself in situations where you know exactly that God doesn't want you in them. That's the crushing season there. That's not crushing season. You are crushing yourself. When you're being pruned by God, when you're being crushed by God, you are in a position of receiving. But he's telling you that I'm preparing you. I'm preparing your heart. I'm, prepare, I'm, I'm building a character. Yami. We understand? So it's just one of those things. And yeah, let's just... Yeah, I think I feel like I'm, I'm just saying I'm, I'm very mouthful, but it's something that has been in my heart and that has been very strongly uh, for those who really say da, da 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 If you are about God, just be about him fully and about everything that is his. And um, and um, honestly, I'm going to make a perfect example. You can't say you love me, yet you don't love my child. No matter how much all he did was to die for, my, for our sins. He, had, he died for us. So why? Why wouldn't you? A person that gave you a fresh start. I mean, I know this from experience because my life was something else before Jesus. And the minute I gave my life to Christ, my life changed completely. And it changed completely. Maybe to the worldly people, they would, they would think I'm irrelevant. But for me, I've got so much peace. And I'm living my life full of purpose because I found myself in Christ. I found my identity in Christ. You know, so it's just one of those things. And guys, let's go to church. We are Because before. But we moved to other churches. And forgiveness, guys, is a continuous thing. I was listening to this other clip, this other pastor saying, if forgiveness is you forgiving, but it's you, it's you not forgetting. You not forgetting is you when you remember what this person did you like this. Is you forgiving them again when you remember, when you're reminded, when it comes to your mind. It's you forgiving them again. So if somebody maybe said something awful about you and they, and they apologized and then you are good with them, but when you see them, you're just reminded of what they said. You just need to forgive them again. Without even them saying, forgive them. Just forgive them. So that's just about it, guys. Um, the journey of Ukolo Ailula, ne? but I think it's better than the worldly life because the worldly life, we are the worldly life, we are patelling below ya koe na each oga la konge In our case, we just give everything to the Father. We just give everything to God. Our worries and everything else, we just give everything to Him. Like I give everything to Him. My rent money. I gave it to him this month because and that's fine and it feels fine and I'm not even worried about it. So it's just one of those things. Okay? But yeah. But yeah. Jesus was wounded for my life. He was bruised for my iniquities. And it carries on in saying, to say, uh, by his stripes we were healed. We were made whole. So Jesus did so much for us. So whenever you feel like you doubt yourself, you must remember what, did it, what Jesus did on the cross. And I'm sure that was not cute. And there's nothing cute about him. So for you Christians, you must remember that. And don't let people tell you otherwise. Don't let people tell you what isn't a Zakai Lumi just because um, Connie's, Jesus forgave you. Je Jesus died for those sins. I'm not saying go ahead and abuse the grace. I think Kusara spoke about the mystery of grace the other two weeks Sunday, and I was watching it yesterday when I was getting ready. It's one of those things. There's grace for us. There's grace for us. There's grace for us. And Lendio Mutunkulu definitely, he surely does look at your heart because you don't get your hands like Kalin Kalis in Zoom. So whatever you did, God will see a motive behind it. So umuzo when zinto uch el wuti vele eh you I'll get away with it. No, God just saw to elbu funuks in the lesson and that's just it. So you was like lesson so no until you make a decision of you wanting to do right. 
by it or by yourself. So that's just about things. I'm sure that's not what you wanted to hear. <laughs> as much as you wanted to talk to me or you wanted me to talk to you guys. But that's just not what you wanted to hear. But I love you guys so much. We're going to get ready. Olandega is going to finish up in the bathroom. And it's okay, so I'm going to do my makeup quickly because we want to go to Santin. Uh, just to find a few things um, and then um, find a nice spot where you can have brunch and then we can leave after that. Yeah, we will talk. I love you guys so much. Matchless gang, the gang that is unmatched. Um, Hi guys, so I'm done. It's actually, I think it's almost my cast month. I don't know what's the time, but I'm sure it's half past 12. We're very late for checkouts, but lucky like, maybe there's no another person that is coming tonight or today so we are leaving i'm wearing this cassette from shein and i'm wearing these pants from alora i'm wearing these shoes from Pashini. and i'm gonna carry my scotch and soda bag so yeah we are leaving uh, i need to take some stuff in the car so that we can get going yeah yeah in trouble guys cha cha trouble <laughs> it's sinking in Sinking in NJ and the Aputu Malikin. But my girl looks nice, guys. A lift to Spiso, who's who's friend, so he's driving. Thank God for him. So we're getting something to eat, and then we're gonna travel to Durban. We're in Fort Loras, and it's around. So we're going four. So so we eight. Yeah, eight nine. Ganji. Hi guys. I hope you guys are good. I am extremely tired. I am very tired. Like I'm exhausted. Also, we traveled yesterday with this Fiso. Fiso is Moose friend who was traveling to, who was going to travel to Kezren today, but to Sbu, I'm Jaluti, we are around. No Sbu, when the Luti, get Kone's own driver, but Kone's own driver. And then we went to fetch him in Midrand, and then we traveled with him. And yeah, it was such a beautiful drive. And we saw the brightest moon. Actually, Lwazi called me and told me about it. I didn't even know. I could see that the moon was just like too bright. But I'm just like, Gwenzagala, it's the light, it's the city light, or oh, it's the light. Yeah, but when we were passing in, there was it dark, it was just brighter. So yeah, but Lwazi won't delay. It's like you must manifest when you see it. <laughs> yeah, so it was such a beautiful experience to see it. And then Safi Galangin, about half past nine, obviously, I washed my face. And I woke up at 8. Yeah, I woke up at 8 because I was thinking the channel, oh guys, they told me that we're going to shoot today at 9. So I was ready by 9. Mrs. So I'm so shooter because they want to profile. They're in Durban for, I don't know, 5 days or 4 days to from to, today, today, tomorrow. Yeah, but one Monday. So it's like 4 days. They want to profile small businesses. Yeah, but so somebody gave them them gave them my number and they asked me to refer other people as well so i just referred and i met a couple of people that i had it bad <sighs> sorry guys that i had in mind so when i called the guy we are in they just arrived now online but so figure we'll tell up by 12 when are we shooting and i was like okay but we can't be shooting today because i'm very tired and also saying is about unready yeah bo so yeah i'm gonna hear from them to shoot and hopefully we're gonna shoot tomorrow i'll probably be like well rested and ready then today we have all but yeah i'm looking forward to the shoot that we're gonna do but for now i want to take a nap i went out to the shops to get a, like a few things like bread and other stuff that i'm gonna use to cook tonight because i'm gonna cook so yeah i'm gonna take a nap now probably for two hours and then i'll wake up <laughs> I'm so tired. And then I'm going to wake up. Give a second. Yeah, pega. 
yeah i'm not gonna go to gym today i ain't going to gym in this whole week so i guess i'm gonna have to start my week next week i'll talk to you guys later yes i hope you guys are good thank you for me man sure you will i think going about half past three looking like about half past about 12. excuse me past 12 let's just say half past 12. Past one, past two, past three, three hours. I was very tired, guys. I get angry when I nap. I lay up too. I be nap for like an hour, thirty minutes, like you know, kid stuff. But I'm up now, and I just finished eating. So I'm gonna sit a bit. Blonde is watching this series on Azutin. She's hooked. She's so hooked on it. So I can't watch TV. I guess I should maybe just cook. I'm gonna make mince and pasta today. See you, Jimmy. Nice, so solid, Jesus. This Jesus, that and yeah, okay. So, my six and I'm okay. Yep, good morning. I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are well. I am pretty, I look so pretty. <laughs> I know, right? So, um, yeah, I'm having a meeting today, actually, right now, in the next in the next five minutes, um, with Meshless, the Meshless Designs, um, strategist. So we're having a meeting at 10. It's 5 to 10 now. Um, yeah, we're meeting at, at a coffee shop. Uh, so yeah, going to discuss some stuff, some business stuff. But the reason why I've got, I got my makeup all done, I am prepared for the um, channel or business profiling interview that they're going to do with me. They were supposed to do it yesterday, actually. While I was resting, sleeping, they tried calling me. And I put my phone on flight mode because I wanted to rest properly. And I took like a three hour nap. So they couldn't reach me at that time. And the guy texted me. He's like, oh no, we were supposed to shoot yesterday with you. But I can try and squeeze you in tomorrow. Just stay ready for morning. Then I can try to squeeze you in around that time. And I was like, oh, okay, sure, no problem. We are both. So yeah, good luck. Yeah. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But yeah. I'm looking forward to it more than anything yeah but if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen honestly like honestly like I'm, I'm at a point in my life you know when you just like if things work out they work out if they don't they don't honestly like yeah what's yours will always uh, find you I'm in that era tapa, you know but also if God says let's fight we're gonna fight if we don't have to, we don't have to. But right now, I obviously made it an effort myself, yeah, but by waking up early, being ready. That's an effort on its own. But if it doesn't happen, really, it doesn't happen. Because I can't shoot tomorrow. I have a wedding out of town. And on Sunday, it's church day for me. So there's no work on Sunday. Maybe I can shoot after church. But normally, Sundays are very, like, slow. And you're, like, always tired. But yeah, so I will let you know, guys, how my day goes. I will keep you on the loop. I will keep you updated. So yeah, enjoy the rest of your day as well. Bye. It's so pretty, guys. Yeah, guys, in Sunday. When are you going to Joburg? We are going to Clara Light. 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 We what he's on his way he'll be here in the next 30 minutes i think he called like 10 minutes ago so we are uh, he's gonna 
interview me obviously i am so nervous i'm just thinking i need to go pee <laughs> yeah i need to touch up my face i need to add my lashes and yeah i'm so excited oh my gosh i'm so excited but at the same time i'm nervous so it is happening yeah they've done since toby lay they done her earlier like in the morning uh, he's coming back from another to do other people so yeah he's gonna do me now i am looking forward to that I'm very excited, but never at the same time because I'm not so busy. But it's probably long jealous, but I'm busy. Look, which music does he does she like, and also which artist does she like? So it's definitely you guys all know, AKA. And yeah, I like his music. I love hip hop, and I love AKA. I actually like gospel, but I love AKA. I think that's one thing that they can play for me on Channel O because they don't play gospel. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to say that. But I'm nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. But I look pretty for TV, so like I fit in. I just need to touch up my shiny nose, and then, and yeah, uh, get into it. Now after church is after church, Mangan. Hey girl, also Hi baby girl. Hey, Say hi to the vlog, baby. Hey vlog. Hey man, we have vlog. Hey vlog. Guys, I ain't driving with my car now. I am driving my car. I'm riding in my new, in my friend's new, brand new car. An SUV, my love. Slowly pays with Kwagel. Thank you so much for the congratulations messages. For the love. Yes, I'm not using this episode. Thank you for the love. Boy, hey, vlogs, Bami. After church is after church. Give and gun. Yeah, boy. Sema kunyeni gana namsanj. I got to answer, mom. Please, open up. Hey girl. Hi. How are you? Oh, you've got rich, 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 rich hair. Hello, Daisy. 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 Hi guys, so it's still Sunday and it's around half past four, quarter past four. We're going to a surprise party at Mom Fundis. You know, Toby less seven and I have a fancy clothes. She sells clothes, Elizama boutique. So yeah, we are part of that. We were invited by Mkwena and we're looking forward to that. Um, okay, let me fix another. So hey. TJ looks very cute. I look also very nice. I'll show you guys my outfit properly, and I'll show you her outfit. Mr. Sishi Lene, you will see. See you when we get there. This is how Tobile looks. Turn around. She's wearing this nice bodycon with the slit at the back dress. But guys, okay, let me show you guys my outfit and then I'll tell you guys the argument. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing. So guys, Tobile gave me this dress when we were changing at our house. So I'm wearing this 
And luckily she had a dress in her car, so now we're changing. I just bought stocking for the dress. So we're changing for the party because everyone is wearing black in the party. And we Googled, the to black tie is formal, not all black. But now, guys, weird. But it's fine, let's change so that we can show you our second outfit. <laughs> I'm so glad we should change. Yeah, 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 I'm so glad Okay, guys, I just got a compliment about this dress. I wish you could, you could just see all of me, but you can't. But yeah, this is how it looks. It looks so stunning. I don't want to lie. I don't want to lie. I went to the car to pick up powder, setting spray, and a setting brush because my phone is crying. And I texted her, asked her if she wants to touch up. And then she was like, please. And I was like, okay, sure. She's such a sweet girl. She had mom from this, guys. Okay, let's go. And she's mad. Good morning, guys. It's Monday, and I'm at the Durban station. My sister's here to withdraw some cash. She's leaving. She's going to um, visit for the whole week. She's going to Pongola uh, to help out Ukoko because the lady that helps out Ukoko had a crisis. She lost her son actually and yeah in a very tragic way so yeah actually please keep her in your prayers i'm praying for her as well but yeah my sister's decided to go home and help out so yeah she's going to be with zizi and suli and the other kids bye i'm gonna miss you bye uh, why are you rolling your eyes oh how toxic is that? <laughs> bye bye. I hope you guys are good it's Tuesday today and I'm here to close off this vlog I just came back from running errands like doing groceries in different stores obviously you guys know it oh, I recently discovered it's near my say love yeah and it's cheaper so I started buying meat there I'm getting some grocery stuff from checkers and some from Woolworths you know because Kone zinto nje oh it's holding a price and no corner of Hanabo. But yeah, I'm here to close off this vlog. But more than anything, but before I close off this vlog, I just want to take this opportunity and just thank my sister on this vlog. I know she's gonna watch it because she watches all my vlogs. I don't know why, but it's just because she's such a lovely girl. She's so supportive, she's warm, her heart is just pure. I wanna thank my sister for simply Yo, 
for simply taking taking up my yoke like uktatanje imtwalo ama wenzo wake because ngoba u u u u go go engeko okay I will tag eko ubu ilu go go so someone fit eko neka izu as she was traveling to Pongola, she found her there and she's back. As a whole. We are both. So she said um, <clears throat> she's going to tell her to not come for this whole week because she's here to help out to go. But more than anything else is for her to just to get some time off and just to, you know, ease her mind, just spend time with the family. If she has family, we are both with her. We are both. I love that. And I'm just like so grateful for my sister. Because I was like, no, I'll go home. I didn't even ask her when we heard. And Koko told me that she hasn't been coming for the whole week. I was like, oh my gosh, that is a tragedy. And uh, also, someone was like, no, I'll just go to Pongola after church on Sunday. I'll just take a taxi and go to Pongola and just be with Koko and help out with the kids and everything else. You know, she just took it upon herself basically to. Do it, we are both. I'm just so grateful for her and for a lot of things that she does. Get as me and Zayim and Chinelana, J. Batin J. Yo, J. Yo. I think she has just like a great impact in my life. Having her around me all the time is just like so great. I know that sometimes I feel like I'm too dependent on her, uh, but uh, I think she's really good for my mental wellness and my emotional wellness. She's very, she's very. She's just like, she's just like, Nje, guys. Yo, you know what? Clap money, 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 or anything like that. She has so much faith and she believes in so much. She believes so much in me, Uyabo. And I know that life may not look like it is coming together for her right now because maybe by her age, but I know that one thing for sure she knows, Uti. And she is at peace with it. And I don't know how she does it, but I guess really God works mysteriously. And I'm happy for her. And I always tell her that uh, and um, um, close to her. That's, that's, honestly, that's honestly more than enough. Because there's no time. There's no time limit to Ulungulu. If Abraham could have uh, a son at at whatever age 100 or 99 whatever age that he was in so that means you can't get a job now and no matter how late it will be but because we tend to rush things that we're not prepared for yeah so yeah i just like you know i just i just speak a blessing, a blessing over her life and and all the goodness, all the good things she upon her life. And yeah, she's such a lovely young girl. I'm a 23 year old and I'm every time I get them. But I'm I'm grateful to God that Bella revealed himself to her and she decided to take up her, her cross and follow Jesus. But yeah. Yeah, I'm so grateful for her for that. I didn't do anything yesterday. After dropping off London, I came back, I ate, I slept, I was tired. I'm still tired from Joburg, guys. But at least I've got enough sleep. Is all low, so I recovered. And I had a client, a studio. I'll insert a picture of the makeup that I did for her. I did the brows, the eyes. Guys, like it was half past four or five. It's the thing about quarter to six. When I had to do foundation, I had to turn out turn on my flashlight so yeah, well, but it went well she's very happy such a lovely lady from Joburg, you know she was recommended by sia thank you so much to see she also he also watches this channel so yeah guys i'm here to close off this vlog i'm gonna edit it today hopefully it'll be up today and you will enjoy it i love you guys so much if you're not subscribed please do subscribe i appreciate you a lot and i love you so much god bless you Talk to me nice